hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are gonna learn about the spatial query in qgis 3.18 before going to the main content i have a small request to you uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos you can check uh, other videos on my channel also on the present content you can see so this is a uh, maharashtra save files this is uh, there also some other save file also you can see it so this is the maharashtra tahsil save file okay this is water word is in maharashtra this is school college in maharashtra this is road in maharashtra this is river and this, this is public place in maharashtra okay i make some uh, query okay you can see this uh, this was uh, some queries that we are find out okay so on the first query it wants the find out the road segment in maharashtra where road cross over the river okay so uh, you can see so we want two things one is road another is river so we just uh, uncheck the other one okay this is the river save file and this is the road okay you can see the red color is a uh, road and the blue color is river now uh, so we our query is to find out the road segment which is not cross over the river okay so this is the road okay now we have to find out which road was not cross any river if you are doing this manually it take uh, one day or more okay so so what we can do we can spatial query there was a tools that is a spatial query by using that we can easily find out each road that cross a river okay so this is a processing toolbar if you don't have the processing toolbar on your desk then you can just right click on here you can see this is the processing toolbar panels or you can go to the view go to panels this is the processing toolbar panel okay just check it then you can find this processing toolbar now you can search as select by location or you can go to vector selection under that you can find the select by location okay just double click on it okay so it wants the select features from now i want to select the features that i want to uh, so our query what is the our query uh, I, we have to select the road because our query is which road cross the river okay so we have to select the road by comparing two features from here we have to select that is a river so road cross the river okay so we have to select the road on select features form and select here that is river now there is a question is which road cross the river now uncheck it and check the cross button okay then click the run button so it process the algorithm after the processing was completed click the close button so on here you can see there was a yellow road is the selected ones and the red is the not selected okay now you can zoom anywhere okay now the red one is not selected you can see here no river was crossed but the yellow one is the selected okay so this road is crossed a river okay so you can check the attribute also okay this is the road features right click on it go to the open attribute table you can see this was the selected and the blue mark was the selected and this was not selected if you want to see only the selected one just click the filter on and click the so selected features so it was showing the only the selected features if you click the so all features then the selected one and the unselected one both are showing okay 
Now here you can see there is a total 2790 features from which 1294 are selected. If you want to export the selected one just right click on it, go to uh, export then click the save selected feature as then you can give the name and save it okay now so uh, that uh, i'm clicking that in the outside this so that's why the uh, that uh, road that was selected are undeselected if it was not deselected you can just right click on it go to attribute tables and you can click this deselected all button okay so our first query was completed that our next query is find out the river channels that are not flowing through Ahmednagar district okay now so before going to the next query we have to deselect every features okay so our query is river that are not flowing through Ahmednagar districts. First of all, we have to know uh, which was the Ahmednagar district. To that is uh, this is a Maharashtra Tahsil map. Okay. <clears throat> now uncheck the road Maharashtra. Okay. So we want the river and the Maharashtra Tahsil. Just open the attribute table. This is you can see that its name two is the there was a lots of uh, district name this is the district name and this is the tahsil name okay just go to right click on maharashtra tahsil click on filter okay click the name two okay this is the district click on equal to click on here that is all this is ahmadnagar okay double click on it you can see here that was selected then click on okay so this is the Ahmadnagar district. There are lots of Tahsil are there. Okay. Now what we have to find that is river that is that that are not flowing through Ahmadnagar district. Okay. So that means the out of uh, the Ahmadnagar district, this one and this there was a lots of river are there. So that was not flowing in here. Okay. So go to the select by location. Now here we have to select that is river okay you are selecting the river now here we have to select by comparing the feature from that is Maharashtra Tayasil okay here we have to select that is disjoint okay that is not flowing that means disjoint okay just click on the run button click the close you can see it was selected the outer features but the inner one was not selected okay so just completed our query 2 was completed before going to the third query we have to deselect everyone every uh, every uh, selected features okay right click on it go to attribute tables then click on the deselect one okay so you can see here there was a total 3437 features from which 3234 features are selected okay now just click on deselected all okay you can see here all the features are deselected and just remove the filter go to here just remove this and click on okay okay you can see this was deselected now our third query find out the public places that are within greater mumbai first of all we have to know the greater where is the greater mumbai and there are also public places okay so in this case we need the public place of maharashtra and maharashtra tahsil so first of all we have to filter that is what is that is uh, greater mumbai okay just right click on it go to uh, filter click the name to equal to click on all here you can find uh, the greater Bombay okay double click on it just click on okay 
so this is the crater bombay just go there okay so this is the greater bombay now we have to find out the place public place in maharashtra that is under the greater bombay for that we have to go to select by location okay select features from here we have to select the public place in maharashtra and by comparing to the features from that is maharashtra tehsil okay and here we have to select that is r within okay and uncheck the intersect one and r within here okay now click on the run button and click the close you can see it was selected the yolo one was the selected one okay right click on it click on attribute table so you can find out of 511 features there was a 222 that is 222 was selected okay now our third query was completed we are going to the next query that is find out the school in maharashtra that could be affected by flood okay so before going to the th uh, fourth query we have to deselect all now we have to remove the filter then click on okay now so in the fourth query you can click see this see that find out the school in maharashtra so this is the school we need this one the school in maharashtra that was uh, that could be affected by flood so flood that is related to river okay here that once let assume the flood zone is about 3 km from the river bank okay so this is the river you can see this is a river so that is 3 km from the river bank so if uh, any school that is within the 3 km of river bank that was affected by flood so we have to create a buffer okay for creating a buffer what do we have to do go to vector then go to geo processing tool click the buffer now select that river now distance that is 3 km select as kilometer and write as 3 okay so you can change this one also now you have to give the output just right click on it sorry just click on it then click on save to file okay so now just write as buffer or you can give any name okay just click on save then click on run so just now click on close you can see every river have now a buffer one okay so now we have to select or uh, cl click the select by location okay so what is that that is uh, 3 km from the buffer zone that is uh, find out the school in maharashtra that could be affected by flood okay so now here we have to select the that is uh, school okay school now here we have to select the buffer by comparing that is buffer and here you have to select the r within okay now click the run button click on close so you can see there was uh, some points are selected okay so the school that are within the buffer zone that are selected now right click on it right click, go to attribute table you can see there was a total 50 schools out of 153 school that were affected by flood okay so the fourth query was completed now the last query that is find out the tehsil in pune which contains water body such as lake and dam okay first of all we have to deselect this one okay 
now we need that is water bodies in Maharashtra we don't need the buffer schools and river water bodies in Maharashtra you can see these are the water bodies and within the which that is Pune out of the tehsil of Pune which contains water bodies such as lake and dams okay just go to select by sorry uh, before going to the select by location we have to select the Pune right click on it click as filter name to all that is Pune before going to that uh, click the double uh, sorry uh, equal to now here we have to select the Pune okay double click on it the Pune just click on okay so this is the Pune there are, there are lots of tehsil in Pune now go to select by location here we have to select the Maharashtra tehsil so it wants which uh, tehsil in Pune which contains the water body okay so here we have to select the Maharashtra tehsil here we have to select the uh, water bodies and just check the content okay contain now click on run button now click on close okay so this uh, the seal are contains the water body you can see here uh, this uh, water body also in uh, this seal but it was not selected if we are creating now when we are going to the select by location contains uh, when we are using the contain algorithm then if any features that are fully covered by that tehsil by that uh, set file uh, or uh, that uh, features then it will be selected if i want to uh, intersect that one so just double click on it here the Maharashtra tehsil here you can find that uh, water bodies now just click on intersect you can find the changes okay just click on run close okay now this uh, water body was intersect in this uh, tassel and this water body intersect in this tassel that's why it was selected but in here there was no, no water bodies in uh, these two tassel that's why it was not selected so this was some special query thank you for watching this video in the next video we are going to learn about attribute query okay for that please subscribe to my channel and also follow the other videos thank you